I had been in the Maya area quite a lot ever since I was a sophomore at Harvard. Something went drastically wrong with these people uh, and with this civilization. This area was abandoned, uh, really, pretty much for, for hundreds and hundreds, almost uh, 800 years. And center after center, city after city, failed to put up dated stone monuments. Located in the Peten Basin of Guatemala, Tikal sits in the dense jungles of northern Guatemala and forms part of the Tikal National Park, a UNESCO World Heritage Site. This ancient city is one of the largest and most significant archaeological sites of the pre-Columbian Maya civilization. At that time, Tikal was thought to be the biggest Maya city and stayed that way for, for a while. Flourishing between 200 and 900 AD during the classic period of Maya history, Tikal was a major political, economic and military center. At its peak, the city had an estimated population of between 50,000 and 100,000 people. These were not empty cities, there were actually thousands upon thousands of people living there. The discovery of Tikal dates back to 1848 when Ambrosio Tut, the governor of Peten, was informed about the ruins by local indigenous people. These locals had largely abandoned the site due to its remote location in the dense jungle. Recognizing the potential significance of these ruins, Tut organized an expedition to explore the area. The first recorded expedition was led by Modesto Mendes, then governor of Peten, and artist Eusebio Lara. Their objective was to document the ruins and assess their historical significance. Mendes and Lara's expedition brought detailed information about Tikal to the broader world, recording the existence of several large structures and creating initial sketches and descriptions that sparked interest among scholars and explorers. But you can see, of course, that they're not cities like Teotihuacan, they're certainly not cities like Rome. In the 1880s, Alfred P. Maudsley, an English archaeologist and explorer known for his work on Maya ruins, visited Tikal several times. Maudsley conducted meticulous studies of the ruins, creating extensive drawings, maps and photographs. His work provided some of the earliest comprehensive records of Tikal's architectural and artistic features. Maudsley's publications included detailed plans and descriptions of the major structures, as well as photographs of stelae and other carvings. His contributions were instrumental in bringing Tikal to the attention of the international archaeological community, laying the groundwork for future scientific investigations. Significant archaeological excavations were carried out from 1956 to 1970 by the University of Pennsylvania Museum of Archaeology and Anthropology's Tikal Project. Initiated by key figures such as Edwin M. Shook and William R. Coe, the project's goals were to conduct systematic archaeological excavations restore key structures, and study the site's history, architecture, and culture in detail. First, uh, Edwin Shook uh, and then William Coe started excavating at Tikal. The excavations unearthed numerous burial tombs, particularly those of the elite and ruling class, often located within or beneath major structures like temples and pyramids. One of the most notable discoveries was the tomb of Jasar Chan Kawil Wand, found beneath Temple One, also known as the Temple of the Great Jaguar. The tomb contained an array of valuable artifacts, including intricately carved jade masks, jewelry, pottery, and ceremonial items. The jade mask, a hallmark of Maya elite burials, symbolizes the power and divine nature of the ruler. Other royal burials also revealed significant insights. These tombs were often built with vaulted ceilings using the corbel arch technique, which was a significant architectural achievement for the Maya. The stelae and monuments at Tikal serve as historical records, commemorating significant events such as battles and the reigns of kings. These hieroglyphic inscriptions detail the genealogy of rulers, their accomplishments and their alliances with other city-states. These are very, very different kinds of cities and we have to understand them in different ways often accompanied by elaborate carvings of deities, mythical creatures, and symbolic imagery, these texts provide a vivid picture of Tikal's past. Epigraphers have worked painstakingly to decipher Maya glyphs, a complex writing system composed of logograms and syllabic symbols. This challenging work has revealed much about Tikal's political history and its relations with neighboring cities. Through these inscriptions, key figures such as Yikin Chankawil and Jaso Chankawil have been identified. 
The texts include detailed accounts of their military campaigns and construction projects. The ability to read these glyphs has allowed researchers to reconstruct a chronological list of Tikal's rulers, their interactions with rival cities like Kalakmul, and periods of prosperity and decline. Tikal's history is marked by evidence of extensive warfare, as seen in its defensive structures and weaponry. This is a period when really we don't know very much about Maya society or civilization at all. The city was well protected by large earthworks, walls and moats designed to fend off invasions. These fortifications were strategically placed around the city's perimeter and key entry points. A massive defensive ditch, likely filled with water, and an accompanying embankment surrounded much of the core area of Tikal, illustrating the city's preparedness for siege warfare. Archaeologists have uncovered various weapons such as obsidian blades, flint points and spearheads, indicating the martial nature of Tikal's society. The presence of mass-produced weaponry suggests a highly organized military. Some burial sites even include skeletal remains, showing signs of battle injuries, along with grave goods like weapons and armor, hinting at the valorization of warriors in Tikal's culture. Tikal's history includes prolonged conflicts with the rival Maya city-state of Kalakmul. These wars were frequently fought over regional dominance and control of trade routes, Hieroglyphic inscriptions document several major battles, including significant defeats and victories that influenced the political landscape of the Maya lowlands. Tikal in the dense jungles of northern Guatemala is a marvel of ancient architecture and engineering. One of its most iconic structures is the Temple of the Great Jaguar, or Temple One, which stands at approximately 47 meters tall. Built around 732 AD to honor Jasau Chan Kawil I, a significant ruler of Tikal, this pyramid also served as his tomb. The temple features a steep staircase leading to a small roof-combed shrine at the summit. The roof comb is intricately decorated with stucco sculptures. The alignment of Temple One suggests it was used for astronomical observations, particularly during important solar events. Directly opposite Temple One on the western side of the Great Plaza is the Temple of the Masks, or Temple Two. This pyramid, standing at approximately 38 meters tall, was likely built to honor the wife of Jasor Chan Kawil I, though her tomb has not been definitively identified. Temple Two is known for the large sculpted masks that adorn its stairways, thought to represent deities or mythological figures. The tallest structure in Tikal is Temple 4, which reaches approximately 70 meters into the sky. Completed around 741 AD during the reign of Yikin Chan Kawil, the son of Jasao Chan Kawil I, this temple offers panoramic views over the jungle canopy, extending to the horizon. This height not only provided a vantage point for observing celestial events, but also symbolized the ruler's connection to the heavens. The roof comb of Temple 4 is particularly elaborate, featuring carvings and stucco work that once depicted scenes of the ruler's power and divinity. The central acropolis at Tikal served as a complex of interconnected structures functioning as royal palaces and administrative buildings. This area includes multiple courtyards, narrow corridors and stairways connecting various residential and administrative rooms. Equally significant is the North Acropolis, a ceremonial complex featuring numerous pyramids and temples, serving as the main burial ground for Tikal's elite. The North Acropolis is densely packed with temples, shrines and tombs, each constructed over previous structures in a tradition of continuous building. Tikal is renowned for its stelae and altars, intricately carved with images and hieroglyphic texts. These monuments commemorate significant events and rulers in Tikal's history, often depicting kings and queens, battles and important dates. The hieroglyphic texts on these stelae have been crucial in understanding the political and social history of Tikal and the broader Maya civilization. Elevated roads, known as causeways or sakbiob, connected different parts of the city, demonstrating advanced urban planning. Constructed with limestone and featuring retaining walls to prevent erosion, these causeways facilitated trade, communication and movement within the city. Tikal's extensive water management system, including reservoirs and canals, indiciate their engineering intelligence. These systems collected and stored rainwater, ensuring a reliable water supply throughout the year, even during dry seasons. The ability to manage water resources effectively supported Tikal's large population and complex urban environment. 
One intriguing theory is that the layout of Tikal was influenced by celestial events and constellations. Some researchers suggest that the arrangement of temples and pyramids mirrors specific star patterns aligning with important dates in the Maya calendar. This connection between architecture and astronomy underscores the Maya's deep knowledge of the cosmos and its integration into their urban planning. Comparing Tikal to the Egyptian pyramids reveals both similarities and differences. Both Tikal's temples and the Egyptian pyramids served as monumental structures as well as possibly tombs for elite individuals. However, while the Egyptian pyramids such as those at Giza are primarily solid structures with internal burial chambers, Tikal's pyramids are multifunctional, combining tombs with temple platforms for rituals. Additionally, the intricate hieroglyphic carvings and stele at Tikal provide a more detailed historical narrative compared to the relatively sparse inscriptions on the Egyptian pyramids.